Hello, it's Olufunke and welcome to the Reconcela with Olufunke. I'm super happy to have you join me again on this episode. Wow, how have you been? You know, we're in the last days of January and I feel and I believe it's the right time to hear what we have today, honestly. So, let's get right in. God bless you. Alright, welcome again. Uh, if you agree with me, there are different kinds of movements, you know. One can be oscillating within a sphere, you know. There is movement, you're moving, you're vibrating, but there is no forward movement at all. There is no pro uh, progress, there's no acceleration, alright. And this year, this topic today is about God's direction for the year. Honestly, perhaps we need to go through your plan again before we go into February, go through your plans again and check through and be sure that indeed we're on track. Praise God. Because we don't want to roam about, we don't want to just follow trends or jump on anything we see here and there. We want to be sure. And for us to be sure, there must be a knowing of what it is we need to do and how to go about it. Praise God. Bible says the labor of fools wearies them, but they don't know how to go to the city. They say, how exactly? And I've got a very good news for you today. And the first thing I want to say is, God is interested. Trust me. It says in Psalm 32 verse 8, it says, I will instruct you and teach you in the way that you should go. I will guide you with my eyes. I will instruct you and teach you in the way that you should go. I will guide you with my eyes. That's some interest. He has not made us just to wallow in pains, you know, you know, to be mediocre, you know, to be unsure, to, to walk in uncertainty. He's our father. Praise you the Lord. He's your father. He's got a plan for you. Praise God. All right, so it's highly interested, and the thing is that God is aware of those things that you need, those things that I need, but more so, He wants you and I to have the whole pie. Those things we run here and there for, they are like freebies, like just the you know, they're like the, the things that comes with the full package. The full package is so enormous. Wow. God is doing nothing with the blessings. It's for you and I. He wants to give them to us. But we must know how to access those blessings. And He knows those things that you need. Even the things you want. And your wants are legit. Don't get me wrong. Let's check that place in, Ma in Matthew. I like going there a lot. Matthew 6. Your favorite place, right? Matthew 6 verse uh, 31. Let's read 31. It said, Therefore, do not worry saying, what shall I eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear? And 32, it says, For after all these things the Gentiles seek. For your heavenly Father knows that you need all these things. What do you want? Car, houses, good job. It says, after all these things the Gentiles seek, and your Father knows you need those things. They are legit. We need them. Praise God. We need them, but there is a whole pie within which all these things follows. Praise the Lord. Are you interested? Because you need to know how to to access your 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 own your own your own package so that you will find your goodies indeed at the right place. Praise the Lord if you are interested. And that takes us to the next place. There is a condition. Yes. Verse 33 of that same Matthew. You know that place very well. Maybe we need to remind ourselves. He said, But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added. Shall be added. Wow. Means that, like I said earlier, the, th the things that we are really, really running after, they are freebies, they, will be, they are additions. There is a bigger package beyond cars and houses and everything the blessing is so enormous that we will see that wow we just got the 10 percent out of the whole like a thousand percent we can say that praise god but seek you first what do i mean god wants you to put him first this year he wants you to live your lifetime for him he wants you to entrust your soul your heart to him he wants to guide you he wants you to, you know, to listen to him. He wants you to seek him, to ask him. 
am i saying that you should fold your hands and do nothing you know you have to work and you know just that's what was born again and all those things will fall in place i'm not saying that praise god yeah i'm not saying that god is not a god for the lazy <laughs> you know he says say ye to the righteous it shall be well with him they shall what eat the fruit of their labor so god is not a god for the lazy man like he says in Proverbs 26 verse 13, he says, The lazy man says, there is a lion in the streets. A fierce lion is in the road. And that's what the lazy man will say. And the Bible says, Whatsoever well, you lay your hands on shall prosper. So it is legit that your hands are laid on something. Yeah. What are your hands laid on? Very important. So God wants you to seek him because there is a secret to every grand arrival. Oh, you didn't hear that. There is a secret. To every grand arrival yeah there is deuteronomy 29 verse 29 it says the secret things belongs to god and those things are revealed belongs to you and to your children forever there is a secret to what to every success job said in the days of my youth when the secret of god was upon my tabernacle there is a secret there is that thing you need to do this year there is something that God wants you to venture into. A project, a business, a work, something He wants you to do. That in need lies your rest, your profitability, your progress indeed. Wow. You don't want to jump here and there or float here and there. In that very uh, package, your own secret, in need lies your prosperity. And He wants you to catch it. Even Daniel received the secret. Daniel 2 verse 19. He was shown a secret and God wants to show you a secret but only those that are sons those that will seek him that will entrust their lifetime unto him those that will say you will seek me and you will what you will find me when you search for me with all your heart those that dare to go to him to search you know don't just pray seek and search stay on God faithfully and listen with patience for him he wants to tell you what to do this year so you won't roam about here and there and you will not just you know wallow in you no know, non-profitable year praise the lord it's very vital god speaks there's a secret for you in your very name there's a package in your very name wow and it's time you go and possess it it's yours praise god so let's put some prayers very powerful we need to put some prayers into the year and i pray the holy ghost will help you and i this year in the name of jesus god's direction and prayers for this year 2023 see and i said ask god for spirit of prayer say lord i receive the spirit of prayer this year because by strength and more prevail wow <laughs> i receive the spirit of prayer this year in the name of jesus say father show me the secret to my elevation this year in the name of jesus oh lord show me the secret to my elevation i want to know the secret to my promotion to my success this year in the name of jesus say father strengthen my hands for the tax ahead <laughs> nehemiah 6 9 he said they said our hands will be wicked that we cannot do the job and he said now oh lord strengthen my hands let's pray in that same order say father strengthen my hands for the task ahead in this new year in the name of jesus oh lord help my heart to be stayed on you there will be challenges trust me Oh yeah, that will, it will look stormy for you. Once you can, you, know, you can fix your gaze on the master, you are assured. So Lord, help my heart to be stayed on you. Notwithstanding the, the environment, the condition, in the boat, on the water, help my heart to be stayed on you, oh Lord. Holy Ghost, fill my life afresh. I need fresh fire for this new year. Holy Ghost, fill my life afresh. I you pray. Kali Brado Satalia. Holy Ghost, fill my life afresh. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost, fill my life afresh. Kali Gado Salia. Father, where I am lacking, supply my needs. Oh yes. Lord, supply my need. Touch the heart of those that need, you know, to minister to me this year. Extend their steps. Stir them up. To minister to me in the name of jesus christ say lord i thank you for answered prayer because this year is my year in the name of jesus christ amen god bless you wow see you again in the next episode till then jesus is lord glory